Hey, what's going on tonight? Back down here in the basement again. <laughs> uh, just came down here to read the Bible a little bit and do a little praying and uh, make this video. I was upstairs with my wife and uh, baby and I told her I was going to come downstairs and I think she thinks I'm trying to get away from her, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, just trying to do what God wants me to do. But anyway, I was working today and uh, I was driving down the road and I was, it's a road that I've been down, a, I don't know how many times, hundreds of times. And I usually do a route every day and I go one way down this road. Well, today I didn't have to do my whole route. I only did a piece of it. And so I came back the same way I usually go, but I was going in a different direction and I kept noticing things. And, and uh, a couple times I had to look, you know, to make sure I was on the right road. I'm like, what, what is this? I don't ever remember seeing this. But what it was, I was looking at everything from another direction. I was uh, perceiving it all differently. I was uh, just looking at it from another way. And uh, I said, another perspective. And uh, here lately, God, Jesus has been revealing some things to me about the church and the Bible and uh, different things. Just, I mean, nobody's really teaching me this. It's just coming from the Bible and coming from his from him from just spending some time in prayer and uh reading the book studying the bible i've read the bible my whole life but i never really studied it before like i have the past year and a half or so but uh i don't know it's different i i know we're uh my whole life i thought church was about rules following the rules do this don't do that do that don't do this and it's not what it's about that's that's the law and you are not under law the Bible says that Jesus took the, the law and he nailed it to the cross with him. You're under grace. You're not under law. Don't let anybody tell you that you're still under the old law because you're not. And I'll tell you what, I come down here to look up a certain verse, that verse I just quoted. I can't remember exactly where it was at, but then while I was searching for it, God pointed out Galatians to me. And uh, I started reading in Galatians, and Galatians is a letter that uh, Paul wrote to the church of Galatia. And... Uh, He's telling them about a counterfeit gospel. He said, once you're saved, don't let anybody else tell you that, that you're under the law. Don't go back to the old ways, the old Jewish law. You're free from all that. You're free from bondage. You're under grace. You're a free person in Jesus Christ. You're no longer a slave. You're free. And Paul says, in a, starting out in verse 6, it says, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel which is not another but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert pervert the gospel of christ but even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than that we have preached to you let him be accursed as we have said before so now i say again if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received let him be accursed for do i now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man, for I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. So Paul is saying here that he got this directly from God, directly from Jesus. It did not come from man, no man's laws. And uh, he goes on here to to talk about how he went for three years and, and studied the word and prayed before he came back. It was after he got saved. Uh, Jesus got a hold of him. And Paul used to persecute Christians, used to kill them. He was a strict uh, strict person of the law. He followed the law very strictly. He was uh, all the Jewish traditions and all that. And uh, where is it? Listen to this verse in chapter 2, verse 21. It says, I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. Man, that's crazy. That, that just blew my mind earlier when I read that. I just, I don't know. I mean, I knew about the grace of God, and I knew how it worked, or I, I thought I knew how it worked anyway. I don't, I don't really know. Um, kind of what God showed me is 
because Jesus, if you're saved and you're in Christ Jesus and Jesus and you, you're being led by Jesus, you're not just going willy-nilly and off doing whatever you want to do. You're trying to follow the Bible. You're trying to follow God. And if you're saved through Jesus Christ, Jesus lived a 100% sinless life. He lived it perfectly, to the T, perfect. Followed the law to the T, perfectly, which no man could ever do. You can't do it. I can't do it. Nobody can do it. But Jesus did it. And so you're saved by Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. You, you're in Christ and he is you. You are joint heirs. You're like, uh, like Jesus' brother, you're joint heirs. And, and th through Jesus being in you and you in him, you are righteous in God's eyes just by that, that simple thing of getting saved. You, you're made righteous in God's eyes. God can look at you just like he looks at Jesus. What, like Just like Jesus fulfilled the law, you fulfilled the law when you got saved. You're not under the law. Through grace, you have fulfilled the law through Jesus. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but that's how God revealed it to me. And uh, I said, I, <laughs> I just wanted to get on here and encourage some people. And, and don't let anybody tell you uh, that you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. You better do that. Don't do this. Do that. Don't worry about what anybody thinks about you. Worry about what Jesus thinks about you. As long as you're following, reading the Bible, praying, and being led by the Spirit, uh, Romans 8, 1 says, There's no that now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who are led by the Spirit. So stay encouraged. I love you guys. I hope this helps some of you. It helped me just by getting down here reading and talking about it. Uh, I love you. Stay strong. Stay encouraged. Keep looking to Jesus. Don't worry about Look into the things of this world. Don't worry about your problems. Don't worry about your fears. Don't worry about your anxiety. Just keep keep your eye on Jesus and all that. Everything else will just fall into place. Don't worry about anything. I love you guys. Bye.